Okay, it is 7 p.m. It is August 14th. Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public for video and audio broadcast on Comcast Government Access Channel for broadcast at a future date. Comments made in open session will be recorded. So uh, it is, uh, again, August 13th, 7 p.m. Uh, let's uh, go around the table and state our names. Mark Sotir. Rick Martin. Bob Clark. Rachel Keller. Okay. Um, Bob has a, uh, a date at the planning board that he's going to step out. Uh, so we'll have a few discussions prior to Bob's return, and uh, we will uh, just refrain on any voting issues until Bob gets back as we need uh, to do that. Yes. So, um, maybe some of you are here to hang around So, has everybody had a chance to review the minutes? Yes. All right. So, well, actually, we can't follow the minutes. So, we don't. But anyway, so uh, the mail's going around. I actually have that. Um, let's um, let's talk about love. A lot of us for it. Um, so, just in the point of uh, matter here, I um, I actually met Bill Bolter down here the other day. Bill, as the um, representative for the town for the North River Commission, had some concerns um, from the North River Commission, and, and I'll just state a few uh, uh, facts as I understand them uh, based on my discussion with Bill. So um, we presented a plan out, actually, in our, in our absence, I guess, Ed Thorne uh, addressed the North River Commission with a plan to replace those trees. So we agreed to plant six trees. There was a, um, an aerial photograph that was uh, presented, and it basically, uh, in all due respect uh, to Ed, uh, there was six X's on the aerial photograph that were in a very small area. They, there was no scale on the drawing, and it was actually pretty hard to tell um, what that area looked like on paper. Um, that plan was presented to the North River Commission, and they approved it. So according to Bill, where they, it was presented to them and they approved it, we were supposed to follow it in the plantings. As you go down there and look at how we planted it, aesthetically it looks just fine. Um, and I can see the rationale for planting them in, those, in that fashion. However, um, the plan that was submitted, um, the trees would have been too close together for, to allow for future growth to, to fit in that small area. So I think the problem is we started with a bad plan and then uh, it got approved and then we couldn't follow it and didn't follow it. So what I want to suggest is that um, we actually, um, I, you know, I don't necessarily disagree with the way the trees were planted personally. I think they, they look good and I think they'll, in 25 years, they'll look like they really belong there. I think we need to um, take back ownership of this with the North River Commission, stop sending other people to represent us and actually get on their agenda. They meet on the third Thursday of every month of I told Bill that uh, we were going to discuss this tonight, and I would like to, you know, with everybody's uh, approval, and we can all go for that matter, but we should get on their agenda and discuss this. And number one, if we all agree that those trees are fine the way they are, we should, we should basically tell them why they get planted like that, and then get them to approve the way they were planted, as opposed to digging those up. And again, in my opinion, they will not work in the small area that they were designated to be planted. So I can see, you know, again, innocent, Ed, Ed did an innocent thing. He just made six X's on a, on a sheet of paper without any input from anybody else. That was the first mistake. The second mistake was that they were approved in that fashion. Again, there was no scale for that drawing. So I think we need to rectify it. So you know, that's my opinion, open to the suggestion and discussion. Well, I saw through the process was just uh, things didn't really ever come to a plan of kind of plan to fail. Simply said, I agree with that. Without a plan, you plan to fail. There was a plan finally drawn up by Billy to the range. There were measurements taken, and I disagree with that they would have been too tight. Those trees only go 15 feet across from the center, so it's a 30 foot circle on that particular type of tree in 30 years, 40 years. Um, so it was, I think, once there was a plan, nobody should have jumped the gun and just jumped in there and changed it without notification. And people should have been asked what they actually, people that were in the process already, volunteering their time to go spend it and measure things out properly and try and do their best. Um, you just cut them out of it and say you feel differently than somebody who may know more about it than you. Um, and not give them a chance until post. It's kind of like, it's easy to ask forgiveness 
information. Again, if this comes up in, you know, it's not the first time that's going to come up, or nor the last. But I feel between that situation now, oh, and <clears throat> I feel the real intent was to actually put back some canopy over the river or as close to it as possible, because that's what was originally taken away. And this does nothing to negate, you know, to you know, negate anything that was done to destroy the upper canopy, which actually takes away all the nutritional sunlight from the very invasive species they're trying to get rid of. So, in an ecological sense, not political or aesthetics, but strictly from the ecological balance of what occurs, you put the roots in there, they take the strength away, the shade takes the light away, and you instantly have a system that negates those invasive plants. Right now, we're giving them full sun, nothing's taking the energy, and they're growing like crazy. So. The whole process of using nature in a long-term process, some people understand, some people don't. But if they had had a forum, a forum could have been explained better. I think more participation should have been given to the consideration of people that kind of did the work to get it done and move it forward. Okay, great. I, 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 I'm sure somebody did draw a good plan. Yep. That certainly wasn't the plan that was presented and the plan that I saw. I actually From the was gone, it, went over, it was gone over with the North of the Commission. They approved the second plan also. So now we have two approved plans. I agree with you. Okay. I only, saw, two I only saw one, which was, was the well, six right, pen mark I, X's right. <laughs> in that box. There was a box. secondary plan approved. Yeah. So there were two approved, but there was a secondary plan all measured out and drafted and given to them. It's actually in So I think there's two issues. One is, uh, you know, how do we <clears throat> fix the, the current problem of today? And then number two, is, you know, in the future, I think we all agree that, you know, this could have been handled much better and more proactively by us, and we should never, you know, employ another entity to represent us, um, you know, to another uh, entity like the North River Commission. I don't know why we wouldn't want to do well, that. I don't, I don't think, it's well, but it's, uh, but it's in our purview. Yeah, see, it's, um, it's a double, it, triple you know, jurisdictional area, situation, right? and it, there's no way to get out of it or get them out of it, so everybody has to be in it. But you could take the lead first and go to them and say, this is what we want to do, okay, boom, from the very beginning, which never happened, mm -hmm. with the whole cutting. So right. this has been a stumbling block, a repeated stumbling block of lack of communication. Like you said, I'm agreeing with you. So, Rachel, do you know what's in the other country that saw the, the trees was? The personal touch we can put in it, the better. Running? Really Running landscaping? Yeah, so, I'm oh, sorry. Um, I understand that the, the plantings were done uh, grass. Which, which is great. I mean, any time that we or the town can get somebody to do something for free, that's a great thing. I, and it, it's a, I went through hoops to try and get a company know. to come here and yeah. take care of the invasive species. That's not I had them for free. I'm saying things for free you're always skeptical of. I find that great skeptics when I came here to do something for free. I just think even playing field, tip for tack, it's good when anybody says something for free that more than one or two people look at it. I brought it all up with the board. They made the choice. I live with it, no problem. And nobody looked at this, and they just changed the company and the current people they were buying the trees so from. So the protocol wasn't followed at all. Yeah, so um, I think the, I don't know if the selectman's office had a, had a bid. Uh, there was a landscaper that actually um, quoted on the job, as I, as I understand it, from Bill. <coughs> so and then, for this, um, yeah. Easy landscaping. Yes, yeah. he said he spent some time on it. He gave us, a, he, you know, he gave the town a price. And he actually and knew where to put them. We were going to buy the trees from him. He was already set. Well, I, we I, bought the trees from Peter at the blooming place. The blooming place, The locations yeah. were already set with him. He knew where to plant yeah. them. He actually knew where to plant them. Because he had the plan that we were going to go by. Okay. So when well, they uh, took him out of the block and didn't look at the responsibility that he was actually going to perform and just gratis, Sometimes you don't get anything for free when you bargain for something for free. Sometimes you do, but there was no bargaining here. We just oh, do it. Yeah, Bill actually gave me the folder from the North River Commission. I, yeah, I have I, one right here. I actually have the plan that they approved with those six X's on it, which I, I don't know if you have this, your folder, yeah, but, but there was no, there's no, uh, you know, engineer plan or you know plan with any scale on it. It's literally actually a picture the work it was measured out and taped from hard sources and. I'm, I'm sure there was, was there. at some point. I was there. The okay. one he says that they approved was not that one, according to Bill. So okay, as long as Bill says that, because I made the point with it. Yeah, they, you know, we spent probably 40 minutes on site going over it. We went through every 
page in that folder. Um, so, you know, again, I'm there were no measurements. It was nothing. There was nothing. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was an aerial drawing of six pen mark X's. That's it. Is that the one Bill did or the one that Mr. She said Thorne that Mr. Thorne did that. Oh, yeah. No, we're not just that. Well, that's, that. that's what she said they approved. He said that the that first time, yeah. And he's on the North River Commission, so I would assume that he... Yeah, the first time. Then it went back to him because uh, he took the head on it. So, were these the, the, so these my the trees that are supposed to be planted there in the first place? Um, yeah, they're, they're the ones that they bought and purchased, yes. Were they the ones that were purchased in there? Yes, those are, mm -hmm. they were red maples, and that's a red maple, it's a spade maple, that's a swamp maple, they're both the relatives. This one rose roughly 20 feet wide at its point, this one, because the spade was up further to 30 foot circumference around each tree mm -hmm. at max. So, I know the trees, I know what would have worked there. What else there? Like five morning glory maples and one other? Well, there's, they're actually a spade maple is what they actually are. You can call them whatever you want to sell them, but they're a spade maple. I mean, in my opinion. So there was one. five of one and one of another. <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. But again, they were supposed to replace a canopy as close to the river as they could and shade out other invasives that are all over the place. Yeah. To me, you know, I, those invasives to me are a whole other discussion. In fact, you know, they, they go down that embankment. Oh, yeah. And I almost think that that material needs to be removed and replaced. Is that because I absolutely would uh, jump on your train and yeah. say, let's do it. So, you, you know, know, for that 100%. To me, that, that is as important as putting yeah. the trees in the right place. Remember but then when the trees were going to be planted, and then we said, no, let's not, because there's going to be work done there, and we're not sure where it's going to be. But yes. nobody has a plan of that either. So it's kind of planning to fail until there's a plan for that. We plan to work on the dam and put the trees yes. in the way of that. Well, we looked at that, and so, it looked like with that wind wall would continue would span in between the, the fifth and sixth tree that were planted but, 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 but we haven't seen that plan so i, right. I don't know you again, that's I, what I'm I, I get it you know in again, hindsight again in my opinion a like, without a plan you plan to fail and it's just going to come up time and happen again in life nothing personal with anybody but i just learned that we were trying to plan stuff i think what <laughs> might have happened too and i didn't see where the trees get cut down but I think some of those trees are actually growing on the embankment yes. and they could be replanted there, well, especially well, they could the be, but it would be very difficult and yeah. we could have got permission to, but it would have been very costly. Right. I was for them being planted since they hang 30 feet, like, okay, let's put them 20 feet from the, from the river. Plenty of room to get them away from it at 30 feet apart in different directions. Nothing was in a straight line, so it would have been a spotted grouping and they all would have been over in one area away from everywhere. But could have been, should have been, doesn't matter, they're on the ground. <coughs> um, and hopefully the invasive species will, yeah. eradication will benefit because there's nothing in the way, as you said. So, Go yeah. positive. And the other thing, just before I forget, that Bill brought up was there's a plan also to replace that wooden, those, that boulder line with a wooden fence. Yes. Mm -hmm. According to Bill, that's in the 300 feet of the North River Commission. Yeah. And they haven't seen that plan, nor have they approved it. So nothing should be done until it goes in front of them. They need to do this. This so, is what it is. It's so again, and I'm not a, sure. Is that, like, a, is that a DPW issue, or is that a, is that from our office? That does. Um, that's okay. not us. So it, 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 it can't go forward until it's approved by the North River Commission, according to them. As far as I know. So, so but why, my question is, why is he not contacting the people who can actually do something about it? Because we can't do anything about that. That has um, nothing to do with it. We can know this. the new rules and, and jurisdictions, and there's ours to deal with. This is not, that fence has nothing to do with it. Yeah, I, I didn't, uh, I, I saw the quote for it. It's a, you know, I think $22,000 is the, yeah. the cost to do it. It's a, it's a <coughs> cover. My nice looking fence. It, it's a beautiful fence, however, um, I like, you know, I don't see the necessity to replace that fence. That boulder line looks fine to me. I'd rather spend that yeah, money getting yeah. rid of the invasives well, than building the fence. The However, to get rid of the invasives, you've got to get rid of the boulder line. Guess where the, their roots are that you can't get rid of under the boulders. They grow out from under every single boulder there. That's a problem. At least we'd have to remove them, put them back or something, because they harbor area you can't get at to get the root system for those that darn not. It's not like they're taking notes and they don't even know about that. Well, sure. I'm sure they do know. They don't seem to, it's, you know, you wouldn't think so. They they want to make it easier to mow. Right. And that way, by mowing, you get yeah. rid of that weed. That's yeah. exactly true. So I see that as a, as a that's the problem. Yeah, they know and they recognize it. They can't mow around the rocks. 
to have a mole in a Ken mole under the fence, so it will kill that base of knot by yeah, mole. It, I think it kind of somewhat creates another problem where you have now every four feet you have a post that has to be weed whacked around, and yeah. there's going to be a heck of a lot of them, so it, it's probably more work than, uh, than there is now. Maybe. It's easier, <laughs> but this is the good thing. You can't kill rocks or posts with weed whackers. <laughs> this is to bring me up on these trees. I predict, I'm going to say it right now in public, unless you put guards on them, they are going to die relatively soon of weed whacker and mower disease. They actually mulched around they will, five or six feet. They're them. doing the right thing yeah. because if not, just like the beautiful tulip tree they planted, it's got five tops and it's totally dead from weed whacker disease. Yeah, they, they will all go to root of the weed whacker if you don't protect them. Yeah, there's probably a six or seven foot circumference. That's uh, good. Okay, that's yeah, awesome. Right around them, which you know, that has works. to be maintained, obviously, but, that works. but it's there today. Mowable. Yeah. That's good. So it's different trees. Isn't it? But now don't have to post it on there. Because uh, in the wind, which is a windy area, it's on a pond. You have a tree trying to grow roots, and you can rip it this way, it pulls the roots, and it goes this way, it rips those new roots. Then the roots become stronger. Uh, who said? Um, so some people that did a study. I really. There was. So that was another question. Maybe you do a study. I'll tell you which one. That was another question that came up with why the trees weren't staked. Yeah. And yeah. according to what I heard, the UMass Amherst did a study about. Uh, about root growth and this, they, they grow stronger when they're not staked. Again, I haven't seen the study. It, <coughs> That's yeah. if they survive getting tipped over by the yeah. wind. Yeah. These, um, yeah. you know, I guess. So I, it's I, a two way street. Time will tell, I, I don't know. But, uh, you know, I, I guess the question becomes. I can actually see what that would be like ripping your muscles, you know, the last two or three reps, you know, and making them stronger. But uh, I think you want to not torture them to death if you don't have to. Or the strongness, just give them a nice easy. Trees have been growing without being tied up for Yeah, in really forests, good. not like one against the whole bunch of wind. They, they buffer each other, you know. They buffer each other. Take one tree out, two trees out, uh oh, you lose ten trees, you don't take them up. So there's a lot of a lot yes. of stuff going on there. Uh, you know, we could probably spend another half an hour talking about yeah. it. We, we obviously can't vote on anything. Um, oh. I, I guess the question becomes. We do we need to vote on anything in order to send to get on their agenda and send their representative or or two? Just ask me to get you. Can I ask me to get you? You want it to be you, or you want to invite the whole commission? Um, I would. Uh, I, I certainly plan on attending myself, but uh, I would I would offer anybody that wants well, to go. Okay, so you guys might go already. Uh, but, but do you want me to just send an email? Yeah, please. Uh, I just think it would be proper, and I, I think you know we owe it to ourselves and to them to uh, you know, form a relationship. Yes, officially. We need to have like a form and a way to just okay, this is what we'd like to do. How formal do we have to get? Can we just have this company do it, or do we need to go and have a plan? Or we yeah. should have a relationship with the DPW as well because they just do things <coughs> however they want to, and we don't even know about it. Um, I don't disagree with that. Um, I um, think, you know, we I should, think uh, more importantly, if we develop a relationship with the North River Commission, a strong one, others will follow. I think it's lack of our leadership, which is our duty to do so. They have a double jurisdiction than ours. And I think it's just, you know, they come along, you've been here, you have to integrate, they actually have a lot of power, and they're good people that know and work with. Yeah. I think that's what we need to look at here. We you have know, the North the, River in our town. The implication they're, is they're that, they're involved in it, and we need to yeah. embrace it. The implication seems to be that there's some kind of an adversarial relationship, right? And I don't, you know, it mm-hmm. certainly doesn't need to be, and there shouldn't be. Well, we should, I think the we should problem be working stems hand this time around from us being thrown under the bus by our own representative. I think that if our own representative had come to us and addressed the issue with us, and then said, "You need to go to the North River Commission," that would have been one thing. But because our own representative went to the North River Commission first and threw us under the bus, and that's why we have a problem. I, I think that if we don't know what is jurisdictional, I don't think you can blame anybody, one person, for uh, throwing anybody under a bus. As far as I know, ignorance is no excuse for breaking the law. That's how I live. I, I, I don't want to stay there and say to anybody I was that, ignorant, that I didn't that know what I was doing. The work that the DPW did. I think that it was believed that that had already been approved. Right, and as I just said, even if there's no excuse for a lot, I'm not, I'm not saying it doesn't right mitigate it, and it's not an extenuating circumstance. It's not, it is an extenuating circumstance, of it, but it still doesn't negate the fact that we're all responsible for noble law. Okay, so I'm, but again, instead of our own representative going and throwing us under the bus, 
it could have been addressed with us directly I, to I begin we, with. I think there was a, a clear tr try to, and we basically got told to go pound sand and that there wasn't a <coughs> When you say we, on. you sound like you're you, well, you're saying, affiliating yourself with the North River Commission. So, no, no, so no, when you no, say no, we, do you I mean like myself, the no, Conservation I've never Commission? Sworn, I've never taken an oath to the North River Commission, so well, there's you no just affiliation said we, and you were referring to the North River No affiliation there. I do work with other members that are there in the river in two or three different towns in the Herring capacity. What I'm saying is so a I member of the North it. River Commission, who we all know who it is, is the representative of Pembroke. That person went to the North River Commission and said, guess what the VPW did by the North River? Of course I'm paraphrasing because I wasn't there. This is what happened. So rather than that representative coming to us and saying, what happened down at, at the North River? Why didn't you seek the approval of the North River Commission first? No, that representative, our representative, Board of S Selectmen member, went to the North River Commission and said, guess what the VPW and Pembroke did? Did he actually go, or was he a member of that particular board also? The point well, is... Well, no, my point is, did he go... You're ignoring my point, which well, is not. that's why there's a problem between the two was, boards. There's no way he couldn't do both. He didn't do both. That's the problem. I think members came to the... Uh, Address the issue when we were told we didn't even need a silt sock till it started pouring and they ran down and threw one That out. was after the fact. That was after he already told well, the North was after had a discussion about I, it. after the fact. I think, uh, that, you know, again, I think a lot of things have happened in the past. Yeah, we got to go forward. There's, there's, you know, different levels of bad blood. And different, I, I don't care what happened yesterday. I just want to focus on Thank what happens you. tomorrow. So, so, you know, should. all this, you know, everybody has their own opinion on what happened, you know, again, and I respect everybody's opinion. However, it's not what we're going to focus on. We're going to focus on moving forward, forming a good relationship, and making sure that we have a working relationship with them, and we're allies and not adversaries. And same with our representative for the North River Commission. We want to make sure that that line of communication is open, too. So we're constantly in communication, and that... Nothing should ever be presented to them on behalf of the town that doesn't that has to do with us. That doesn't actually involve a discussion with us. And I will I reach out to our representative Absolutely. to make sure that that is clear. And I and I believe after my discussion with the representative the other day, he agrees to. That. Okay. So. Absolutely. So. It wasn't just a representative either. It was the town manager. Just does one thing and then says, says one thing and does something else. There was a lot of resistance and bad blood here. We need to go forward with yeah. solutions, not problems. Yeah, right. And what, you know, personally, what I still don't understand, and again, I'm not going to focus on it, but in my opinion, the town manager never should have been representing our concerns with another commission because I don't remember authorizing that in any way or discussing it or saying, hey, we don't want to do this. Let's, somebody, let's send somebody right. else in our place. Right. So, you know, again, it happened yesterday. Can't change it. Let's just worry about what we're going to right. go forward. So, so that will start um, with getting on this agenda. And I would just say that uh, you know, for everybody that's here and not here, I would welcome anybody on our commission to go to that meeting and uh, you know, and let's 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 start forming a relationship with these guys. You learn really great things like when you go to put in solar panels, you can't have a certain power box bigger than a certain size. Um, I'm trying to turn these things off. You're not a sugar. I'm trying. I can't even take a picture of this one. But no, I, I agree with the solution. So, uh, I'm going to uh, stop this for a second. Rachel, so um, our 710 North 720 has appeared, unless they're waiting outside. Uh, uh, we got, could you, just because I get uh, sidetracked with our discussion, we lost track of the time. Nobody has showed up, so I didn't, I just kept going. So let's just hold on. Uh, we're on uh, 18 high. Uh, sorry. Let's we're a little late. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come on in. I was hoping Bob would be back by now. Press the wrong button. Um, our, uh, okay. This yeah. is 18 high. Okay. And you've been waiting for us? Yes. I, I apologize. We uh, lost uh, okay. track of the clock there. So, and, uh, and just we are, um, our agent is actually uh, attending a planning board meeting. So, um, we were kind of waiting for him. We thought he'd be back by now, but we can certainly start. Okay. And, uh, you know, please introduce your project. Uh, please uh, uh, state your name. And uh, for the record, uh, and for our record, uh, this is a notice of intent for 18 High Avenue, Farrell, DEP number SB056-1017. So, please, sir, take the floor. Um, 
such targets. Yeah, which was the, well, unfortunately, uh, we are in a terrible spot here, but uh, please let's, uh, let's see if we can tell us that there. Okay. Uh, my name is Bart Lipinski. I'm a landscape architect for Grade Consulting, and we're here to represent Mr. and Mrs. Farrell, 18 High Street, uh, High F, um, for uh, septic repair and proposed dwelling. Um, as you can see, all of our work is pretty much inside the 100 foot buffer in Stetson Pond. Um, we will be constructing a driveway, utilities, um, a small wall for a walkout at the lower level, um, septic tanks, septic field, um, and then we will be uh, uh, outlining the work of limits with a silt, silt sack. Uh, pretty much from the high foot buffer down across the water and uh, back up to the buffer on the other side. Yeah. So, um, can you give us a little bit of, first of all, are there any abutters here? Uh, no. uh, can you give us a little history on uh, on this on this lot? Uh, uh, currently, right now, there is an existing dwelling down in this lower corner. Uh, the deck. There is an existing cesspool. A gravel access drive kind of comes around. Uh, there was a, at one point a, a garage in this area that, okay. that has been removed. Um, so what we would be doing is uh, cutting back a little bit of the woods, uh, push the house further back from where the existing house is, and push the septic uh, a lot further back from the current location. So do you currently inhabit that structure today? No. You don't? Okay, so how, is this is a, a vacant house that's going to be demoed? Yes. Okay, and how long have you owned the property? Uh, family, 90 years. Okay. His grandparents okay. bought it in 1990. Okay. No, I'm not 90. 90. Oh, we're going to relocate this. Uh, <laughs> our agent is back. <laughs> yeah. He looks really good here. Yeah. 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 We're sticking, you're going to have to stick the house back in the hill. A very steep hill come down into a flat area just before the pond. And as far as uh, you know, options to do anything better or different, did you, no. did you that, see that, anything? That, they did a good job of fitting everything in on that lot for, what, for what's there. I, when first looking at it, I wouldn't have that they could have done even that much in that. In that. I say our only, our con biggest concern is going to be here, uh, you know, at the edge of the pond to make sure we have enough uh, barrier to make sure we don't get a wash because unfortunately there's a lot of water going to come down that hill and you're going to have to be trapped at, at the bottom. So this drop, this is a 20 foot drop. What, what is this? Uh, so what is that line? How many feet is this line? Uh, we're just at that over there. Okay. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a very sharp, yeah. sharp drop. Is there anything you have to do? Um, maybe a bigger slit sock or anything to protect that because of the hill? Well, we're, we're going to need to have probably a double silt sock at, down at the bottom. Right. Yeah, what about later on? Well, once they, if, once they get in and get it to, Establish snow because it's not a problem now. Even the hill that's there in the driveway, it's not a problem now. But once we start digging in and having fresh earth, we're going to have to watch it. And I think the other thing is, I don't know just how much we're digging here yet, but there's not a lot of room to stockpile. We may have to remove some of it at, at times and bring it back somehow to contract because. Uh, stockpiling it on there is only asking for that much more of a problem. And so this is an existing dwelling on this lot right here? Yeah. It's basically right on the line there too. Yeah. And there's uh, none of your neighbors uh, have showed up? No, no butter? No. Okay. It's dual. It's very dual. Okay. It's, uh, it's, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. I sent an email earlier today, and I have, I have them as well. So have you? Uh, 
and you sent those in, okay? Yeah, I sent an email to Rachel for me. All right, so we, we need those for the record, right? Okay. Let's just take those. Do you, you guys have any, uh, any questions, concerns? Um, no, I think Pomp you've addressed the idea of your slopes and uh, really who knows what the weather can do real fast these days. Um, do you think the salt sauce are big enough that you're talking about for that setting? I think I think on the board on the board bench you know, is the only place we, we should right. have a double twelve, one yeah. with that space, just in case we have a yeah. and one chips we don't want it in the pond. And one chips on one side of stack you know, stack of them good. I just would rather see an extra one than wish we did. And that area yeah. that area that's close to the pond. So after construction <coughs> this whole area, is this gonna be um, you know, landscape with lawn or what are you planning to do, you know, with this area? Yeah, we'll put as much lawn as we can down the front or near the water. Um, are you going to have a buffer zone yeah. with, from the lawn to the water at all with any type of plantings beside lawn? I'm sorry? Uh, are you going to have like a buffer zone built in when you're done to the pond, any brush, any indigenous um, plants, any something to stop runoff from going to the water? We could do some plants, fertilizer. but I haven't really given it too much thought uh, yet. What type just... of fertilizer do you use and stuff? Now? Yeah, I'm once. Well, this will look good. Our, our thing is going to say no, no fertilizer. Yeah, our, yeah, our conditions are so good. What about pesticides? Fertilize that. that. Yeah. We do yeah. have yeah. a whole time. Yeah. About a third place of your property. Just use the right side. Where we're not going to touch. We're going to save some trees that are down here. And, and this, I'm good for the Yep. So we do have, you know, it might not be shrubs, but right. there, there is some sort of grass or vegetation there to, to help slow things down. Um, the only tight spot is where the house, the current house is now that we would um, get that out of there and bring everything back as fast as we can. But, um, and maybe we have to spray it with something that temporarily while well we're in front of the house. Yeah. I was going to say, you might be able to do some work there in that little corner while the house is being built. But is this an access to the pond itself? Okay. Yeah. Is this an access to the pond itself? Yeah. But, it, but it, is it used as an access? No. Um, when we had the gravel driveway here, mm -hmm. come down, we used to two car garage right about here, and we used to park right here. And there is a kind of like a clearing, but it's all overgrown grass now, too. We, you know, we used yeah. to put our boat in there. Yeah, on that end of the property, it looks like that there's only a 12 foot drop off as opposed to a 20 yeah. on this side. That's because the drive was going to build the back down. Already, down already, already plateaued. I'll just throw this out there. I mean, is yeah. there, you know, would there be any thoughts of any kind of retention there to build that up? Or is it, uh, is that overkill? I think it's, I think it's, we wanted to get it just to you know, Yeah, we're, we're trying to keep, you know, keep the back of the house somewhat level. Um, that's why we made up a lot of the grade on this side. And, and, and I assume the, the walk out in the basement and then the front of the house is well on the first floor. So we're going to fit the house to the, the grade there. So you're sort of building it into the hill. Kind of. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Hope you're wrong. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay. Does anybody uh, have any additional questions? Uh, we'll close. Okay, we have a motion to close the hearing. Second. Motion to be made and seconded to close the hearing. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimously passes. Move we build recordings with plans of normal boiler plate I mean a double row of 12 inch silk slot on the lower edge to contain it. Okay, so is that a negative three? Or yep. The, the foil plate is a negative three? Yep. Negative three or not? Uh, oh, yeah. 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 The boiler yeah. yeah. plate. Yeah. All the boiler plate. Right. So, Boilerplate to include all the normal stuff around the ponds and the fertilizers and all that. Negative three is not there. Okay. Yeah. And yeah, this is your own house, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. If it was if it was a house for sale, we put on conditions that the people have to be notified about all this. But you are here and are being notified. <coughs> okay. A motion has been made. Second. Okay. A motion has been made and seconded to uh, issue a negative three boilerplate. Uh, for this property with uh, the only uh, outstanding condition other than that is the double 12-inch silk sock 
at the at the pond. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries. All right. I do a... Read your... Yes, I do. I have to find it. Okay. Please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our officer at DUP if you need assistance. So, you are all set. I would uh, just say there is a 10 day appeal uh, process, uh, so you know you might want to hold off. From anybody in this room? Start, uh, <laughs> no. 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 It uh, could, be, uh, could be anybody. But, uh, okay. but uh, just a uh, word of caution uh, to proceed as you will. We, uh, We'll draft up paperwork uh, and then uh, we will sign it at our next uh, mm -hmm. next meeting. Also, I'm um, just authorizing it. Uh, is anybody watching their paperwork when they want to? Or? <laughs> okay. Thank you and best of luck. Thank you. Another 90 years. I'm sorry? Another 90. <laughs> For my daughter. <laughs> yeah. 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 Thank you, Mr. Thank you. That's only going to be the signature page. Okay, our, our next hearing is uh, for 23 Bristol Road. Kelly, is anybody here for this hearing? Yep, they are. Okay. Now, should we deal with these separately or the same? Yes, yeah, so, yeah, they should be separate. Oh, okay. Yeah. This is the signature page. Thank you. So if she gets it typed out, we can. Gotcha. Yes. Yeah. Okay, welcome. Welcome. Uh, we are uh, we are late for our 720 hearing. We apologize for that. It is uh, 735. This is a notice of intent for 23 Bristol Road. Kelly, uh, there has been no DEP uh, file number uh, at this point, so please uh, state your name for the record, please. Okay, um, I'm Owen Kelly. I'm with Copperwood Circle Builders. Okay. Yep. Uh, Chris Anderson, Maryland Engineers and Land Surveyors. I'm Dan Greenberg, also with Copperwood. Okay, welcome. Thank you. Okay. Hey. All right. How can we help you? Which one do we have up first? 20, 23? Yeah. Yes, 23 is. Okay. <laughs> so we have we have two lots going in in our Bristol Estates project off of Taylor Street. Okay. Uh, Merrill Engineers, we've hired them to design the uh, septic systems and stormwater systems for the project. So Chris is here with the plans for those two individual lots. We already have a, a plan for the whole subdivision. Uh, this is the individual. Uh -huh. Yep, and uh, the blue line highlighted here is uh, the wetland line that was approved back in 2016 when we originally permitted the subdivision. Um, so we have an order of uh, resource area delineation on that. Um, the let, let me interrupt you for a second. What number of Taylor Street is this off? Uh, Here's 70, 73. 73. Okay, so it's down from the other Taylor Street. Subdivision plan uh, we don't, I don't have one here. Um, it might be easier yeah. if they see where it was. Yes. Yeah. I just, I guess my, what I'm getting at is I just, it has nothing to do with the other Taylor Street. No, it's, it's just well. north of that project, and ours was permitted Towards before the there. We were, we were first. Towards the Dutchbury side? <laughs> no, it's up to uh, other way. Okay. Towards the four corners. I guess it's just well, four so corners. Right. South, south of that project, up the hill a little bit. Okay. Towards okay. cool. Congress Street. Stones. Yes, uh, exactly. Yeah, but but yeah, right, right, yeah, right, yeah, right yeah, just yeah. past Marley Mack Way. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Go to work. Show us where it is. Continue. Thank you. I just, wanted, I just wanted to make that. Yeah. We have another project going okay. down the street. So this is Bill as Lot Five. Just wanted to see where, <laughs> oh, oh. where it is in comparison. Oh, right on the front has a look that shows you where the project is. Oh yeah, but they want to see this. Where, where oh, the, oh, the lot lies within the subdivision. Yeah. Okay, that's what I wanted. Yeah. 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 So mm -hmm. the two lots we're looking at is this one and this one. 
Lot three. three and lot five. So, so that's number 23. Right? This is four or five yep. right now. Yep. Sure. Am I hired? <laughs> Bye, Bob. <laughs> Continue. Uh, yes, so the, the highlighted blue line is our wetland line approved during that permitting process um, for the subdivision. Uh, in yellow here, have the 100 foot buffer shown. Uh, the proposed house is approximately uh, 2,400 square feet, two and a half stories, uh, full walk out in the back. Uh, we're also showing a paved driveway, side entry, loading garage. Um, for this particular lot, all the runoff from the driveway grades down to the street and is incorporated within the street drainage system, which is what was approved um, in the definitive subdivision plan. So we, we followed um, our stormwater management plan very specifically with each individual lot development. Um, you know, some lots we have the runoff of the driveways going into rain gardens. Um, that have you know easements around them that were approved, uh, but this one in particular, all the driveway runoff will be entering the street drainage system. Uh, the front portion of the roof of this, that drainage will also overland flow into the the street as well. Uh, back here, we're showing some dry wells um, chamber style, which are approved in the original order of conditions that will capture any runoff uh, from the rear of the house. Um, this dashed line here is our proposed erosion control line, downgrading of all the work to uh, keep any sediment from entering the, the wetland. Uh, the septic system out front, as you can see, is outside of the 100 foot buffer, uh, so no issues with that as well. Um, other than that, do you have anything to add on? Nope. Uh, just like what Chris said, there was a lot of upfront work into designing the stormwater management and runoff systems. And so we kept everything in line with those as far as rain gardens, um, uh, grading, elevations, things like that. Okay. Any comments, Bob? Looks, looks fine. I mean, they, they, they do their work. I noticed that a DEP number has not been assigned to this, so are we just... Uh, we're, we're just looking. We can't take an official vote right. because we don't have a DEP So are you number. guys aware of that? Yes. Yeah. Okay. When's, when's the next meeting? We didn't see it scheduled on the... The 27th. Okay, so that's... Perfect. So uh, we can okay. basically close, then we can get you the file number. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. But it's, from my standpoint, I think the plan is fine. It should be no problem. <laughs> okay. Do you... Uh, have any questions, guys? Oh, okay. Well, uh, neither do I. And, and again, as uh, stated, we, there's nothing to vote on without the DP number. So, uh, thank you for the overview. We'll, uh, okay. you know, keep this in, uh, in mind for the next time we meet when it's official. And I think we could uh, move on to the next one. Yeah. We, well, no, we need a motion to continue here. Yeah. Oh, okay. We have a motion to close discussion on this. No, we need a motion to continue. Motion to continue. Till the C13. August, August 27th at 720. I'll second it. A motion has been made and seconded to continue the hearing uh, for August 27th at 720. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes unanimously. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to move on to our 730 hearing, which is the notice of intent for 34 Bristol. Exact same thing. So, so if you want to just continue <laughs> that one until next time, that's fine too. So is there any. Oh, Anything okay. uh, additional on this one or different? Well, again, if you want to run through it now, then the I, next I think it would just save us some time. Yeah. Yeah. That's, That's great. So time. We're all a little more intricate stormwater controls yep. on this one. <coughs> uh, again, following pretty much exactly what we showed on the approved subdivision plans. Um, this one, you know, we were unable to contain the runoff just with the existing grade out here into the street drainage system. So we want to make sure that it's all treated um, and contained prior to just entering the wetlands. Um, so and that was all part of the original plan. Yep, yep. So over here, we have a, a rain garden that is um, outlined by an easement that has all been approved. Um, that rain garden will be maintained by the lot owner um, to make sure it's in proper working order. Basically, all the runoff that hits the driveway will catch in a keystone diaphragm at the end, enter a vegetated filter strip, and then we're proposing a drain right here that will uh, send off the stormwater runoff well pre-treated into the rain garden. Um, 
Also, a couple more dry wells here, just because that will be capturing all the runoff from the roof because we couldn't get it out to the street. Um, but full recharge for the uh, footprint of that. And uh, when you say it's pre treated, what does that mean? Uh, basically, you want to get the sediment out before it, it enters um, a rain garden, so it'll hit the pea stone diaphragm that will filter out a lot of the sediment, and then along the vegetated filter strip will continue to do that. Um, as part of stormwater management, you want uh, pre-treatment before you know settling here, because then that will get all clogged up. When you speak of the homeowner will maintain it, what do you mean by maintain it? It's going to be tied to the deed. Yeah, so there's a, there's a rider in the deed that says they have to maintain their own rain garden. Typically, that just means making sure that, like, it stays a rain garden. They don't put, like, grass and material over yeah, it. That they, you know, edge it and those kind of things. So basically stay out of it, leave it alone. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. And make sure that the shrubs that are in there don't just die. Um, but, again, it's, it's all built to be minimally involved. Um, but just in case there's a homeowner who doesn't do it, doesn't respond to the town saying, hey, you need to go do it, you know, again, we're talking about a couple of shrubs in there then the town has full right to go in and fix it and then send them a bill. Uh, I, th I can jump and get you in the head if you don't want to. Yeah? I think I'd like to read that terminology of, of the rain garden that you want to put in the deed yeah. and get it approved here before. I think <coughs> we did when we were doing the subdivision plan. That is in the order of conditions that there was going to be some language, a document. But I, that I'll check. Maybe we did not get that far. If not, I'll, I'll get that to you. Yeah. Yeah. And, and make exactly. sure what it's going to yeah. say yeah. because yeah. it sounds absolutely. great, but I yeah. know. Let's oh yeah, absolutely. That makes on paper. perfect yeah. sense. Yeah. Yeah. If we, if we have done that all, maybe right. that's yeah. something we could get in. For yeah, that's the, perfect. The next hearing, and you know, I'll go over and make sure you guys know. Just simple stuff happens, like say Russian all decides to root itself in there and take over. Yeah, it's not going to be hard for long. Yep. Yeah, so yeah. Stuff happens. I make a heck of a place for the pool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. You know, maybe I wonder if you can put a filter system into it. Boy garden. That's a rain garden, isn't it? Why would you be good on that one to clarify? Yeah, I, think, I, think yeah. Yeah. I think it's pretty straightforward. They, again, they've done that okay. right now, so. However, we will bring uh, language next time. So yes. Yeah. We'll submit it to Bob as soon as we can and then to the board. Okay. 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 All right. Will we uh, continue to August 27th at 7.30? 7.30. Second. Motion has been made and seconded to continue this to August 27th at 7.30. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimously carried. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very Thanks much. Guys. I'll see you in a few weeks. That's the one we had last week that had the drain pipe on it. Oh, that's, 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 right. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. yes. Okay. Um, all right. And I believe he's here. I thought I saw him. Oh, really? Yeah. He uh, popped in. And oh. Popped out. Oh. <laughs> okay, uh, this is our 740 hearing, which uh, we are late for is now uh, 748. Uh, continuance for request for a determination of applicability for 22 Harvard Street, Van uh, Lakes. Sir, please state your name for the record. For the record, Peter Lyons with Collins Engineering Group. <coughs> uh, here with a continuance, um, just to remind everyone, last time we were here, and I apologize, I don't have a plan with me, I left it at the office. Um, last time we were here, the commission for a um, septic RDA didn't really have any issues with the project itself, uh, other than the drain line in the back of the property. It wasn't to be affected during the project. We were just looking into you know, ownership of it. And um, as far as I know, the word from the DPW was that it was all on private property. It started and ended on private property, therefore they had no jurisdiction or concern over it. Um, that's, that's correct. I mean, that's uh, confirmed? Yeah, that's confirmed. Okay. Yeah. It, it drains a, a lower on the adjacent property uh, across into the, into the wetland area, so it's strictly a 
between the two parties, something to do with the town. Okay, so it actually it doesn't start from the street. Nope. It actually starts so that's right about there where you think of okay. it. Okay, the whole area right there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, um, so other than that, everything should be fine. So we'll be close. <laughs> uh, there's a motion to close. Okay, Sorry. there was a motion to made and uh, seconded to close the hearing. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. We, move, we issue negative three standard uh, order All conditions. Okay. Seconded. Motion has been made and seconded to issue a uh, negative three standard boilerplate for order of conditions for 22 Harvard Street. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Please note that any person aggrieved by this decision has the right to appeal within 10 business days. Please contact our office or DDP if you need assistance. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Sorry we uh, couldn't take care of you last time. No problem. But uh, we had to do it the right way, so thank you. Yep. Have a good night. All right. Thank you. All right. Let's, uh, those are our, our hearings are complete. Um, so let's get back to the minutes. So has everybody had a chance to review the minutes of July 30th? Yes. Any discussion on those minutes? Do we have a motion to accept the minutes? A motion to accept the minutes of July 30th. Do we have a second? Second. A motion has been made and seconded to accept the minutes of July 30th. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Okay. We. Um, we probably spend a good 20 or so minutes talking about Lawrence Ford, um, which you were not uh, there for. Um, mm -hmm. Do we uh, do we want to move on, or do you know basically where we ended up? I, I think you know in summary. And please uh, uh, chime in if you uh, feel this isn't complete. Um, we certainly think there were a lot of things that um, uh, could have been could have been done better, and that started, I think, with bad communication between us and the North River Commission, sending people uh, in our place to represent our interests at the North River Commission. We, uh, you know, there's disagreement on where things were planted, how it was done. I, again, a lot of uh, a lot of backlash in general there. I think um, what we at least agreed to focus on is how we do things moving forward and how to rectify the situation. We. Uh, have asked Rachel to get us on the agenda for the North River Commission for the third Thursday uh, of the month. Uh, and I I certainly want to attend and invite all of us to attend if anybody wants to do that. I think we need to establish a relationship with the North River Commission uh, work in, you know, in concert with them as opposed to being adversaries, which it certainly seems like there's an adversary relationship today. So um, again, I think that's where we left it. Please chime in if you uh, feel I've missed anything. <coughs> So uh, we're going to, uh, you know, again, anybody can go. Uh, I'm certainly attending that, that meeting uh, for the third Thursday. And I think what we need to do front and center is um, they've approved a plan. The third Thursday, they meet the third Thursday of every month, as I understand. Yeah. Third, third Thursday, is that next Thursday, Rachel? Oh, no. If it is, we, we already have a seat. It's actually the Thursday. Thursday. It's third Thursday is this Thursday. It's Thursday. This Thursday, so it would have to be next month. Because, because you have a CPC meeting. CPC is meeting. Well, not only that, but it's the third Thursday. What? I mean, we yeah. can't. Yeah. I, I doubt we'd get on the agenda. Right. But we could try. They would see you. Yeah, I, I've actually. Uh, I just emailed Judy, so I'll just. Yeah, let's she's let's see. I mean, again, I you know. I would like everybody to be able to come, uh, but um, you know, if everybody can, I think it's important to get in front of them sooner than later. I don't want to wait another five weeks to get in front of them. So, you know, anybody that can attend, uh, we just yeah. like to do that. Be on the agenda. I'll do my best to be there. Right. Yeah. So, and, and again, uh, we'll notify uh, uh, Sharon and Sandra at, and Scott at the same time. We, uh, you know, again, welcome anybody there. Um, but uh, you know, I think we've uh, we talked about you know. Need to cross communicate anyways about the text, the rocks, the location, and the foot zone, and try to get reinforced so you just move yeah, mostly right. forward. Yeah, and I, I think it's just, uh, you know, the bottom line is we just want to establish a working relationship with them. 
And I, I you know, which, which clearly is. Yeah, you don't see what we're just talking about the fence. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you know, the, the fence. And the rocks are uh, out. It's, it's, it's within their 300 foot jurisdiction, and they haven't approved anything yet. So I think we, we if we're starting, you know, as the town, if we're starting to do something there. Well, uh, no, but they say they have approved. Uh, according to their representative from the right? town, they have not approved it. So, we get it right? That's not going to happen. Uh, according to the Pembroke representative, they have not approved any plan for that fence. Yeah. Uh, that he's aware of. Uh, he's the representative. Do you know what fence they're that. talking about, Bob? To replace that boulder line with the wooden fence. Yeah, right by the bridge. Fence, yes. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Yeah, the piece. Yeah, that fence. It's within the 300 foot zone, so technically, as, as again, as I understand it, they have to approve that, and they have not. Well, I, I don't want to. So, you know, we're just going to bring it up for discussion. Again, I, I think, think, we all need I to think the contract has already been gone out, and they, the co contractor has been given the okay to put it in because they they have said that it's been approved. So. Well, I think we need to have the person who is handling that project present that to the non yeah. I don't think we should take responsibility for I projects agree. that don't belong it's to It's not our project, but I, I, well, I, think, I, I think we need to set a precedent that we don't just hire somebody at the state. If you have an overlapping jurisdiction, we have an obligation to keep everybody informed. And, and I think having all, all I'm saying. And I think having the knowledge now that again as as the North River Commission representative has told me it has not been approved, we should at least notify whoever's project that is to, to not start any work because it's just gonna create more bad blood. Well see then that would be I think that's a better approach yeah, for us to address it with whoever is responsible that's what the you know, so just again, it's just a simple courtesy email or notification that hey, this is you know, to our knowledge this has not been approved. We should not start any work until we clarify that or the town clarifies it. Or you clarify it with them. Yeah. Either way. Right. But, you know, again, I right. think that's just the right thing to do. I think we have to Whether it's ours or not, it's just, you know, we're in knowledge of it now, so we have to pass on the information. Okay. All right. So. Um, Better than saying, I wish we did, or look for, like, you know, kind of like, I wish we did, uh, sorry. Yes. We'll ask for forgiveness, later, permission. But, yes. Yeah, uh, I like yeah. to work with everybody seamlessly. All right, uh, let's uh, let's move on to uh, 190 Barker Street. Um, we Rachel was kind enough to email us some uh, copies of the uh, the documents that were floating around that would need to get in place for 190 Barker Street to proceed with the uh, the, the worksheet and the um, and the conservation restriction document wow. itself. So did every did <coughs> you guys have a chance to review that? I'm sorry, I didn't look at it. I reviewed it quickly. Um, I, I think. Um, yeah. Yes, we have a copy. So you, so I, I just printed those. Here. Uh, do we have copies that. we can read and take home? You can, you can, ha you can have those so okay. you don't have the means to print them. But, uh, so I think, um, Bob, I'm going to let you talk about this. Uh, you know, you, I I hadn't been at the site. I actually uh, drove by the other day. Bob happened to be there. I actually, uh, so I went in the house. I saw the two structures out back. Pretty interesting site. Um, you know, would you uh, take it from here? Well, we have a lot of still water things up in the air about our conservation. First thing is you got to find somebody who's going to take the conservation decision. Right now, we've talked with Wildlands Trust. Uh, Wildlands Trust is very reluctant on taking a conservation restriction with any buildings on the property. Uh, so until uh, as they have worked on it to a point and said, all right, now you've got to tell us what you're going to do about the buildings. Oh. So, uh, is it worth keeping that building when we need a parking lot? Do we have any real use the building, it? it depends what you're going to use it. The building is it's a secure building. It could be utilized if it has the right thing. But whatever you do, if you take it down, you gotta, you've got the cost of taking it down. It's, there's a cost of keeping it up, there's a cost of taking it down, uh, but it also includes the other buildings, the bonds and, and so forth, of uh, whether they stay up or they stay down, or uh, whether you can find somebody else that will take a CR that will let the buildings stay, or Wildlands Trust might let the buildings stay, but it's going to cost a whole lot more because then they become responsible for keep making right. sure the buildings are kept in repair. There's ways at times to take and divide the piece 
of land that has buildings on it off of, and I'm not just talking about but on conservation, you take and divide a portion of it off where the buildings are and put the CR only on the land that is not Building. Build up buildings. Right. Unfortunately, <coughs> our deed says that we can't subdivide that piece of property. So more and more, we have to find a viable use for it, or maybe think that it right. would be. But, but what I'm trying to get have it gone. get them to look to the legal people because we're getting now any of the CR and all the rest of stuff gets legal, legal mumbo jumbo when. The deed says that we can't subdivide, but does it mean that maybe we can get we can subdivide as long as we keep both pieces with the same restrictions on it, which keeps them except when we can put a CR on, when we can't. But that's a, the lawyers have got to figure all that out before we can. Take another step forward. The house is actually solid and in good repair. I was somewhat surprised yeah. at the condition of that. Yep. Um, you know, the two structures behind it were, all, you know, the, the amount of the, the barn swallows coming out. It was, yep. it was amazing right there, actually. It was, uh, the barns I, I'm for, I just don't know if we really have a use with the fine development to recover the house. Obviously, the cost of building the house is the back of the suspension. Um, does it have a water problem in the cellar, do you know, or is it? Well, it's okay. It, it, it is a damp cellar, but every cellar through the whole area is damp. There was a dehumidifier in there. He kept the vegetables down in there. Uh, also, if he had vegetables down in there, then it can't be... As a root cellar. Yeah, as a root cellar type of thing. Well, I learned you can't have somebody living there. So we can't. Yeah, an office situation. Yeah, right. an office situation. Or there are some other things that can be done. But we have no good. we have no uh, facilities for toilets at either the Helen Run or anywhere down there. Now, with some work, the you know that building could be turned into part of no other uses. Right. Um, because we're going to be getting into more and more of demanding of facilities whenever there's something going on. I mean, right. no, and we start trying to rent the, so. the uh, <coughs> houses here. We spend a lot of money and, and all that yeah. So yeah. There, are, there are some other plots to put in. What Unfortunately, is we got... What is the sewer system? It's a simple cesspit. It's as simple as yeah. So it would have to be upgraded, but it's there. It's there. It's it's right right now it's working. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, uh, then he, yeah, this uh, you know, it's had no problems, right. but it's had no big usage right. either. So. Exactly. Um, but there's a lot of decisions to make, but sometimes we can't make, make decisions repair. right now because we don't have do all the answers to the questions that we need to, to put in there. To do a repair with a place on the tank? For the future or something? Or? Well, yeah, I mean, that should all be upgraded some, in the future. In other words, there should be an ongoing plan. There if needs to be a. If you tear it down, you don't have any facilities left on the property, basically, sanitary. Yeah. So I think that's a good point. I but have to look even at. if we tear it down, can you keep that? With can the you? CR things we have, we can't even put up a, a brick building for toilets. Right. Because it's a structure. So, in other words, we've got, we, we've got all of these different things and we got to kind of sort out. <coughs> and, and I'm for, and I'm not going to say it. And I don't know, um, put your hand, Rick, put your hand up. Uh, we had two loads of dense grade material dumped on that site because People had made commitments of getting it for us to use for the driveway, and they wanted it. It's there. It's like putting the frosting on the cake before you put the cake in the oven. I mean, we don't, don't need the dents right now. It's in the way. It's not good. But it's another thing that we were not in a in position to not take it right. because it was given. Anyway, you know. Yeah, so now there's a pile of, of dense grade behind there, and what do you do? You can't, 
can't put a driveway in until we know what we're doing with it. Yeah, with where it goes. With everything oh. else. I mean, right. you could put a parking lot in the front. Well, that's it. You, you know, put a parking lot there. There's still a lot. I spent some time down there just walking around the front. There's a lot more frontage there yeah. than you, it seems that that's because of the trees. But if you look and go over to where the corner is, if that front was clean, there's a big, big area in the front uh, besides that. I don't think parking will be a big problem once we're able to get some of this stuff clean. But uh, again, it's another one yeah. more. It's one more project on our long list of things that needs to get done with both people that we don't have. And really nothing can be done on that property subject to it being finally decided and all the dots being done. Well, yeah, 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 it's one of those. We can sneak, you can start <coughs> some cleaning and some cutting in, but I mean, you can't do anything is, hard, is hard the, to it. Is it, would what it be if there was, uh, uh, just, just real quickly, is where there's an open paddock, could that be a community garden in the future without the whole thing being taken care of? If other people wanted to get well, in there? I don't, I don't know. I think. It's it's right on the on the board. Part, part of my my personal problem is that after seeing how the CR is being handled at McQuarrie Street at the Andrick Bog, uh, I'm afraid that if we start doing putting our plans in place and doing them, all of a sudden the CR is going to be forgotten about, put aside, and then. Down the road, all of a sudden, PC, CPC is going to come and say, "Where's your CR?" You know, and, oh, what? You know, what CR? What do you mean? No. And what they're going to say is, "Okay, folks, we're cutting off all your money to the town," and that's what's going. To, we're worried about it. I'm worried about it, Andrew, because we haven't finished, you know, what we were supposed to do to get the money. We've got the money. We've spent the money. We've done everything with it and kind of ignored the CI. The CI down there has some problems, but doesn't have a building problem or anything like we have here. We have a different kind of problem here. And it's so easy for people to ignore the problem if everything is going the way they want with the rest of the project. Yeah, I think we could do it, but I think we've got to really take care of our own housekeeping too. Is the natural first uh, order of business here to get an opinion from the town council whether we can potentially split that well, on the deed? Uh, I think there's, there's two ways. One is I think we need the people who were instrumental in getting all this done to go to the former owner and say, do you object if we you know, do this? Because he's still at no... So the it former, might be, but the former owner has... No uh, legal right to that property anymore. It's been deeded over to us. Well, he could. Although, it, if it's it's an overall thing, it would be a lot easier to subdivide it if he would say that clause I put in about subdividing, I will now withdraw. So that's his his clause. Not it's his clause. clause. Okay. Yeah. These oh, are his clauses. Oh, I see. I see. Right. Yeah. But these but, are th things that he put into the to the deed because he didn't want it. You know, he wanted to make sure. Yeah. Well, he didn't trust that we would never do that. We would treat it correctly. Well, okay. he's giving it to conservation not to be a home, yeah. to be open. So I understand that. We also could just put a sign up there, and we haven't done that yet. Yeah, we, we agreed to put a sign on the property, and we haven't done that yet. We haven't done that yet, right? But we can't do that till we have to see outright. Or well, that's what we should well, do. Well, also that. to be fair, he, the former property owner, is involved in the design of the sign, and he hasn't approved that either. So, yeah. okay. see, so in his deed, he's, he has some uh, influence on what we do still down there. In other words, what the name of the place is 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 it okay. the color of the sign is. Is the his. type of construction. Yeah, the type of construction. Right. There. Yeah. So I say he still is involved. He wants to maintain some control of the creativity of yeah. the situation. He wants, you know, as he has a vision of what he wants <coughs> to end up as. Can and he, give us he any wants any to make sure it's on this, or we have to like <laughs> get a swami and do some pottery. <laughs> Should we, you know should we invite him to a meeting <laughs> and just discuss it in open session, or? Well, is that I, don't, I don't think he's. I don't. My dealing with him isn't that he would. He's. 
in that and another. He'd like to just talk it over, I think. I think we can do it. It's just getting everybody to do it. And it's only been, you know, the last couple of three weeks that we've had the ability to do some of this. And why don't so we invite him at his convenience to come and present or talk to us whether we're... So I, I think he is one of those things when we say what we want, he'll either say yes or no. And he's it's not nice a... If you give no. us a little idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he didn't say not to do it. He's not to do what the no, sign. Oh no, I'm talking about the sign. Just basic things he can move. Oh, the sign. Oh, no. I don't see that. Apparently, sign he's is a got this one in front of him that he has not yet approved. So, okay, is that correct, Rachel? Good. He's got a design that he's. It's on his plate to uh, approve it. He. Where did that come from? Provided a design. Well, it's. We kind of just said it would be similar to the ones that we've been suggesting for Ludum's Ford. The one that's already at. Um, not sure. Ludum's Ford. Um, Wildlands Trust yeah. property. Yeah. Across the one across the street. Down the road. Yeah. Down yeah. The road. yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and he has a different design, and he, I think he wants graphics on it as well. I mean, he's got something that's like really in depth with detail, and it's you know because it's in memory of his wife. Mm -hmm. So it's not really, it's not really, I think what we are looking for, but. Yeah. Maybe if we saw what he was looking for, we could come to an agreement between. Right. So we, I think maybe we should have whatever everybody has looked at to look at ourselves. Well, really, I think we're just looking at what signs already exist in town. So um, he didn't give you an idea of what he wanted? He just said he gave you an idea. Yeah, he did. He, so he, he did, did for, for, for us, for what we kind of asked him, do you like this right. or do you like that, if we just use examples of what we already have in our town. What is, can we look at what he proposed? I think so, why not? I could reach out to him and ask yeah. him if he could just forward us. Yeah, that would be good. And maybe it stops the conversation forward going to in us general. Yeah. Got, maybe yeah. he wants it more natural or something, you know, like a state sign would be in a park. Uh, well, can I just one thing? Um, for, how is the Wildland Trust involved in this? Or, or do they have to be involved with this? Can it just be a town? Wildland Trust? Yeah. Somebody had, in other words, a CR has to be Held. Held by somebody. And the CR is required by what we signed off on the... Um, well, the, in other words, this wireless trust we just used because they are handy. No, he's asking a different question. Yes, when we accepted, when conservation accepted the CPC funds, that was part of the requirement that you have a conservation restriction on the property. Okay. And to have a conservation restriction, you have to have a place like Wildlands Trust involved with it? Yes. And are there other entities that do this that we're aware of? Yes. And so this is all between us and the CPC, not with the property owner, the former right. property owner? And so what do we get out of that by joining with the CPC? What, well, what they they're, the, they're the ones that gave $500,000 for the purchase of the land and okay. the execution of the CR and the signage. Okay. There you go. You get half a million bucks. Yeah. That's a lot of gifts. Plus the land is priceless. It's a beautiful place. So one thing I, I, I guess I'm still not clear on, and I don't want to believe this, but if that money has already been exchanged, doesn't don't we or the town have the deed? And how how is he involved in anything to do with the deed if, he, if this transaction has already been taken? Because the place? deed states that he has. <coughs> the deed oh, in the deed, yeah. It's, it's oh, really? okay. it's There's registered. specific things in the deed that give him certain has that been rights, registered? especially the naming okay. of yeah. the property. I'll get a copy of the deed. Yeah, it's, okay. it's, and the deed's been registered and all is carried yeah. through. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, maybe we um, we start with the uh, question about the sign, and you know, yeah. we open a dialogue there, just to, you know, and, yeah. and, and certainly um, maybe throw the offer of inviting him to a meeting, just to have an open session discussion and, okay. and see what he really wants. Just that, that might help us. Well, his brain some you know, if, he, if he doesn't accept, uh, that's another story. But let's at least invite him and yeah. okay. see if he wants to get in front of us. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's um, let's move on. The uh, next item on the agenda is uh, informal endorsement of subdivision and land donation at 385 High Street. Am I going on microphones if I have a problem with it? Okay, is this new business? Um, yeah, well, yeah. Are you talking? No, you don't, dude. Go ahead. You, you're sure you were there, you go ahead. Oh, boy, all right, so um, we had a meeting on 
Thursday of last week yeah. with Stephen Tukowski from Levy Engineering and um, what's his name? Ed Kaposki. Ed Kaposki. It was my first meeting with him. And he, they came in to um, present an idea that they have for some land that Mr. Kaposki owns off of High Street. So, uh, if I can find it here. Am I right, Bob? Is this the entrance or is it down further? This is High Street. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So he owns the home right here. Mr. Kaposki owns the home here, but he also owns um, this land behind here and this, mm -hmm. this land here, which is highlighted. Mm -hmm. And he'd like to go before the planning board and present um, the subdivision plan. Well, I think he, they informally discussed it already. Um, but they feel like offering something in exchange for allowing this subdivision here um, would be more attractive to the town. And I guess the reasoning behind that is there is a rule the planning board has no, planning board, yeah. um, that the entryway needs to be, was it 2,000? No, 1,000. All the all planning Which board will allow, and that is a normal 1,000 foot road in a subdivision. 1,000 feet from where? From where it's at, right? 1,000 foot road, 30 per, per day. This, this piece of road to here. Yeah. Once you get to a cul de sac, it changes. Then it changes. This right. is a different road to right. here. Right, exactly. Yeah, what's it say? It's 1,500 feet. This is, yeah, this is almost 1,500 feet here because they're crossing this lot and coming up all the way through here. And right. So they feel like it would be more attractive to the town if they offer something in exchange for um, like a waiver of the rule. And that would be the conveyance of this um, property that's in circle. How many acres? Roughly. I don't know. 55. Is that, is that 55 including this or is that? That's this. Yes. And then they would also convey these spots to the town of Duxbury. The town of Duxbury already owns wow. this. Yeah. So that would be all open. Wow. And so what are, what are they asking for? They want a waiver on the road. The Duxbury doesn't, 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 doesn't have any roads in it this year. We get them all. So, um, this road right here can only be um, 1,000 feet. Feet, okay. right. But it's 1,500 feet through. Okay, six. In other words, they're asked, basically asking us to support them when they go to the planning, planning board asking for a waiver for along the road. So let, let me just, uh, this line here that's delineated within these lots, is this a weapon yes, slot? Yes, it is. Right. Right. So, so that's going to be an issue with us. Uh, it, it appears. I mean, these are growing. Oh, up. they'll have to come across. Yeah, yeah. We, right. right. We've had many issues with other developers that uh, I, I mean, that's a significant change from anything else that we've already looked at yeah. in the years I've been here. I would like to propose that if they put two less houses in there, we'll, we would uh, approve this plan. We'll put a few in the Duxbury. I mean, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Duxbury is all about the foot of the road. And, and today, um, you know, it, is this a flat piece of land? Is it uh, have a grade on it? Well, you know, it's what one? On this is this one, this one for the most part is wetland right. here. So there are high spots. Yep. Words, it's showing yep. this outside yep. wetland. There's wetland here, and then there's highs, and yep. just a couple. Of, there's a trail that comes through. And is it heavily forested, you know? or is it? Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a it's a, a, a forested swamp. You know. I'm trying to think, is this the property that it, it has a house and then there's a bog to, as you're looking at the house, the bog to the left of it? No, that, 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 that's that way, way down. Way down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, this is, this is way up. Yeah. Way up at this end. And again, part of it is Duxbury has a lot of land in here. And so it, it joins both Pembroke and Duxbury open space. That is, because his, it, it really doesn't encroach anywhere into Duxbury, right? It's all jurisdictional. Yeah, it's all of them. Yeah. It. Well, it looks like this right here. This is the one. Yeah. 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 Is there anything you'd like to get from Duxbury? Right. I'd like to see a few houses in that neighborhood. Look how close they are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So is. Is this a request from the planning board to work something out, or no, it, no. no, it's not? So basically, we go for this. We pretty much are certain that we're going to get this land, and Duxbury is going to get that, and they've already got some land around it. it. Ties up a lot of land for the future in the conservation, and 
you know, my opinion, if you don't want to build, buy it. It's the only fair thing. You can't tell people, you know, in my opinion, what, I, what I, it's worth. I believe that. We had a chance to buy it a number of years ago. Yep. It was not you know, in, yep. in the realm that we even, we, we yep. walked it all, we looked at it and all, but it, uh, it never rocks. got much more than that because, you know, the asking was more than what we thought. And it was we could our, even. It doesn't border any of our conservation lands or either. These are the house lines, right? Uh, I, I'm not, I haven't checked it. Up in here, we have we bit. have some yep. land. I don't know yet. Yeah, that's where I was tonight, up there trying to get them to update their newest, the old maps, so yep. we can just look and see what's available. And if it does connect our lands, I mean that's always a plus for animals and the future and people. So. Would a drone flight help you with that? Huh? Would a drone flight out there help you? Yeah. If you can see from up above. <laughs> well, yeah, I, no, I just need to get into the. Uh, so even if what even if we wanted to do this, it's. It really is a planning board issue whether it's a lot <coughs> right. right. We're right. just saying if right. you said yes to this, it would be right now it would just be an informal endorsement right. of the it's plan a, for saying planning. We'll entertain it, yeah. but I mean, we're not making the choice. Yeah. But we'll entertain. Yeah, it. we can't. It's not our choice. Right. We'll, we'll I, I certainly it. think uh, we would be willing to entertain it. I, yeah. You know, I can't Absolutely. see any reason we wouldn't. Absolutely. However, um, you know, I think uh, yeah. officially, uh, I think the planning board needs to make a decision, and then yeah. Yeah. it comes yeah. to us, right? But I think it, it, it will go upstairs that we approve of it as far as it's a good idea. Right. Like okay. if, I, if you guys said tonight, yes, we would inform <coughs> you, Stand behind you. Then yeah. I could draft a letter to the planning board and say, from what we've seen so far, what yeah. we, what's been yeah. presented to us, we're okay. Yeah, I mean, we haven't really walked it. Bob has. I'm sure you've walked it in another area. Um, what the other thing that enters into this, up until a few years ago, the subdivision rule was 2,000 foot right. of road. Right. It's just recently that they've cut it back to yep. 1,000 feet. So this 15 would have been underneath what was right. no, what was four or five feet, whenever they, yep. they changed it not too long ago. It's like the lobster gauges. Yeah, and, <laughs> and what it's done, it and it, or is it, it's made it so that, <coughs> you know, it's harder for the, they can't, it's I don't know not the as easy to put a road in and put the houses because if, if you don't, you lose two houses right, right here. Right. You know, so four, the, the road is already right there, you know is. used up at least that much, um, uh, if not more. Who would the developers actually be doing it? I think that would nobody be yet. I just need it's only a piece of paper right now. Right. It's this is this is it. This right. is the whole thing right here right now. It You've walked it. What do you? Is it really marginal? Is it? Or is it, well, they say Queensbrook used to be. Is it something like that that's manageable? No, or is it? It was, there's some good high ground. What this used to be, maybe, maybe you got old walk. Remember, what, this used to be the duck farm for Bill Clark across the street? Oh, yes. This is this is where the duck okay. the duck farm and the little, they had sod farm in there for yeah. a while and all. Yeah, yeah that's this piece in here, the show side, is good high ground. Yeah. And then it slopes down into this other stuff. And I'm sure they're paying taxes on this now anyway, so it helps them too. Yeah, the ducks right. probably made more foolish yeah. than the people are going. Yeah. <laughs> it's on the surface. I was injected in. All right. I, um, I think it's a, a win just to look at it at this point. I haven't walked it, but yeah, Bob I, said I, it is what it is. I do know the old yeah. duck farm. And yeah. again, we aren't really approving anything other right, than right. saying right. no. Uh, we work yeah, with yeah. it. Right. It sounds like a good There's certainly no reason to shoot, it, shoot it down at this point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, why wouldn't we? Right. That's the question at this point. Yeah. I think why wouldn't we? So um, I don't think we need to continue discussion no. on this. No. Right? we're good. Uh, uh, I know that we uh, tell them, ask Rachel. We run the flag. They uh, uh, send a letter to the planning board saying we looked at it. And <coughs> generally support that. Okay, I found no so horrible. A motion, a motion has been made. Second. A motion has been made and seconded to um, authorize Rachel and ask her to please send a letter to the planning board saying that we are supporting uh, yeah. the uh, exchange of that it. property uh, yeah, for, as we for see conservation land as we see it at this point in time. We certainly see no reason not to support it, uh, yeah. but we certainly reserve the right in the future yeah. to look at it more closely when there's more definitive plans. Absolutely. Oh, all in favor? Aye. Aye, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was waiting, I, was I, got, I got lost in the 
All those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Unanimously kept. All right. Is there anything else we uh, want to discuss? Yeah, I move and close. Um, four. I'll make sure I always get that stuff. Okay. Well, a motion has been made at Psychnet to close, so I guess we have to um, okay. vote on yeah. that. So um, I will say yes. Yeah, all right. I think we will close. All, all those in favor? Aye. Uh, all those opposed? All right. So, Rick, we can certainly, if you need to yeah, get something on the agenda, we can. Yeah.